welcome. I am Crystal Everett, superintendent. I'd like to welcome everyone to our January recognitions. Uh, we have a special treat for you tonight before we actually get into our award ceremony, and we have a lot of students to recognize tonight. I would like to introduce our very own Lawrence High School Gospel Choir. <laughs> Thank you. 
say that one more time. That was absolutely wonderful. Thank you, choir. Can we give them another round? That was Ms. Demet Holloway down there conducting the choir. So thank you, Mrs. Holloway. And Ms. Lazinski is somewhere around here, too. Okay. On with our program. As many of you know, January is National Board Recognition Month, and we just opened up with our reward. So I'd first like to publicly welcome our two new board members, Miss Pepper Evans <laughs> and Miss Dana Drake. And we also have a new board president in Mr. Kevin Van Heist. here from LES. Sure, I can't see out there. All right, so when she gets here, we'll get back to a special reward. All right, our first recognition is going to go to our Lawrence High School undefeated in regular season Patriot Division champions football team. So I like Congratulations to all the other uh, award winners, I guess, the people who have been recognized by the board. Congratulations to the new board members. Good to see another uh, fellow Lawrence guy up there. Is he a president of the board? Congratulations. Well deserved, I'm sure. Um, we're very proud of our guys. We were 10 and 1 in the regular season, or actually 10 and 0, I guess, in the regular season, or 9 and 0 in the regular season. I think it kind of all blends together. Um, in the state playoffs, we were 2 and 3. You know, we end up losing the state finals, you know. It's taken us a little while as a team. The coaches probably get over that. But as you reflect, you want to say hey, what a great experience it was uh, to play in front of 8,000 people at Trenton State or College of New Jersey. And just the fond memories you have from going through a great season. It started, you know, the day after school ended in June and ended on December the 6th or whatever, someplace around that time. So we're really proud of our boys. Uh, we've been, uh, I talked to Dr. Dauber about it, Mr. Mason about it all the time, a little morning period. Uh, you know, just kind of licking our wounds a little bit, but at the same time, want to celebrate the great, great accomplishments they have uh, were able to uh, get done this season. So with that being said, I'm, uh, I'm not going to read off every single name. I'm going to read off some okay, of the teams chosen here. Just bear with me because it's quite a few kids. Nick Falkenberg. Nick, come on up, please. <laughs> Nick is a first team all West Jersey. Page division quarterback, and also first team all Trentonian quarterback. Nick Falkenberg. Samai Mitchell. Samai's our running back and defensive back. Uh, first team all West Jersey League. Uh, Patriots is a running back. First team all group three star ledger running back. First team all area of the times. Uh, Frank Nemi Piscopo Award as player of the year for 12th Man TV Club in Mercer County. First team Trentonian as well as second team all South Jersey. Uh, had a wonderful senior season, Samai Mitchell. Cameron Kitchen. Cameron, too, was all first team West Jersey Football League, all first team uh, area, uh, Times defensive line. He won the, Ch the uh, Charles Fuzzy Falzone Memorial Award, and he was the player of the year for 12th Man TD Club as a defensive lineman. First team Trentonian defensive line, second team all group three star legend defensive line. These guys have received a lot of acc accolades and they're certainly well deserving of it. Dean Ray, number 51. <laughs> Dean was first team West Jersey Football League. Division, um, also second team Trentonian offensive line. Number 69, Jordan Fleming. Is Jordan here? Okay. Jo Jordan is probably maybe the shortest in statute guy on the team, but he played with his motor running nonstop. If you came to any of our games, you definitely saw his impact. He was a first team all West Jersey Football League. He was a first team all area of the Times, and also first team all area of the Trentonian defensive line. David Cowell. Say again. Uh, we'll, we'll get it from you. Um, David Coa, I don't see him here as well. Uh, first team All West Jersey Football League at linebacker, honorable mention, Trentonian linebacker. Adam Gibson is here. Adam. 
and his first team all this year from football in the division defensive back, Lester Miller. That's for the second team West Jersey Football League, first team all area at the times, honorable mention Trent and Tony, defensive line. Oliver Payne, I don't think Oliver made it. Oliver was the second team uh, all West Jersey Football League, uh, linebacker Connor Hoffman. There he is. Connor was second team all West Jersey, first team Trent and Tony as a kicker, Connor Hoffman. Kadeem Deal. Okay, Kadeem didn't make it. Kadeem was honorable mention Trent and Tony defensive back, and Rafi Balasari, he was honorable mention uh, Trent and Tony defensive line. Also in attendance with me, I have uh, Brandon. I have Brandon, one of my tight ends. I have Big Francis on, on my left there. Kevin Hinko, Danny. Uh, who am I missing? Jordan Glover. Um, Jordan Finger. All my Jordans are like about five of them. Uh, Ray. I'm sorry, Ray. I miss any of my boys. Hey, they've been a real pleasure to be around. They they really committed to the cause, and we are very proud uh, to call them, you know, Lawrence High School football team in 2013. Uh, their accomplishments will, will go on and, and live in, uh, you know, live on in history, certainly. But just fine young men, and just a pleasure to be around all the time. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, Don't go, guys. I'm going to take a quick photo. Oh, yeah, guys, a photo there. Thank you. This is, this is the history-making team here. All right, one more clap for our record. their business to support everybody. They come to the football games, the basketball games. They are always supporting everything at Lawrence High School. And now it's time for us to give them some love and support them. Let's hear it for Coach Landolfi and your Lawrence High School cheerleaders. to be standing on behalf of these fantastic group of young women. They came in uh, late August, and they've been non-stop working until now. <laughs> um, they keep going through um, until February, March. Uh, during that time when they are not supporting our Cardinal sports, they are training vigorously, putting a lot of time and effort into preparing themselves for their competitions. Um, where they are recognized for their achievements, for those of you who may not understand cheerleading, which is okay. Um, but without getting too, uh, you know, too much ahead of myself, um, you know, I just would really like to let them know that I'm very proud of their accompl accomplishments and I'm very proud to be their coach. Uh, they can, congratulations girls, you deserve everything, so. <laughs> Yes, 
And at CBC this year, they won first place uh, media division uh, for CBC championship. So. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Okay, next up, girls soccer. And again, Coach Palumbo could be here tonight, but we do have one shining star from soccer, as well as our whole team, which is a shining star. But is Sabrina here tonight? All right, well, let's talk about what Sabrina did. Um, Sabrina was Mercer 33 All-County Soccer Team and honorable mention from the CVC Coaches Association for Girls Soccer. So when you see Sabrina, give her a big congratulations. <laughs> Boys Soccer, and again, a few shining stars and honorable mentions um, is Alberto, Kyle, Anthony, Eric, and Zach. Any of those? Young men in the house tonight. Probably at basketball practice. All right, let's look at their accomplishments. Uh, Alberto received an honorable mention from the Trentonian. Kyle received an honorable mention from the CBC Soccer Coaches Association. Anthony was all CBC second team by the CBC Soccer Coaches Association. An honorable mention from the Trentonian and also selected for the Mercer County Hall of Fame All-Star Game. Eric was all CBC, third team by the CBC Soccer Coaches Association, selected for the Mercer County Hall of Fame All-Star Game. And Zach was all CBC, second team by the CBC Soccer, Co Soccer Coaches Association, and the Trentonians selected him as the, and he was also selected for the Mercer County Hall of Fame All-Star Game. So congratulations to our boys soccer team. In addition to having great sports in school, we have some kids doing some fantastic things outside of school. We actually have two New Jersey Junior Olympians. So is Miles and Samai here? Just looking good. <laughs> Just looking good. Well, while we wait for Miles and Samai, let's talk about their accomplishments. Um, both Miles and Samai participated in, in the Junior Olympics, which I do believe was held in North Carolina, but New Jersey recognized them as the, Miles as the Boys Athlete of the Year Youth Chair for ages 13 through 14, and Samai was a member of the Young Men's 4x100 Relay Team for kids that are ages 17 through 18. Here, here come our Junior Olympians, come on down. Also, basketball players. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. They walk in, but they run back. They're dedicated to practice. All right, next up. We have anyone from Lawrence Intermediate School, particularly our health and PE teachers. 
here they come. Here comes Team Fantastic, and they're going to talk about their fundraising at LIS. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to all the new board members. We have, uh, I'm Dave Box, <coughs> Health and Phys Ed, Tori Hart, Jonathan Cicoletti, our team at LIS. Um, we have been number one in the state uh, for the combined jump rope for heart and hoops for heart events in raising money. Our students always do an amazing job. We've been uh, first five out of the last seven years. Um, we had over 200 fourth, fifth, and sixth graders that participated back last March, and they raised. We actually found some more money after we uh, sent this in. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. <laughs> the grand total was fifteen thousand five hundred and seventy-nine dollars to make us number one in the state. We have uh, some students that raised over two hundred dollars. So every student that comes up here tonight raised more than two hundred for jump rope for heart. We have a body driver, Maxwell Frank. Some of these guys aren't here. Zach Huntinghake. I think Kirsten Johnson is here. Kirsten here? Yep, there's Kirsten. We have Eric Mace. Yep, Eric's here. Zach Newman. Grace Nuger. Isabella Ricardo. Andrew Cesaris Over. And Ms. Hart's going to read the Hoops for Heart participants. They were jump rope. For Hoops for Heart, we have Gavin Vidal, we have Raina and Delicado, Shanae McKeithen, Jacoby Sherrard, and Jason Yabon. Raina is our highest scorer, our highest money raiser for Hoops for Heart. Eric Mason, you raise your hand real quick. He raised $1,400. He's our highest fundraiser, probably ever. Great job, guys. Congratulations, that's impressive. Thank you, congratulations. All right, next up, is Mr. Nawadi here? Uh, you weren't, come on up, I bet you weren't expecting this, huh? All right, let's talk about why Mr. Nawadi, he's a parent of one of our students, why he is standing before you. Well, Mr. Nawadi actually coached a box squad, correct? The box team? That's great, box squad. The box squad, which is six of our students plus three students from West Windsor. That's right. um, and I would like to have those students come on down. So here are our LMS and LIS box squad team. And if you don't know what the box squad is, Robotics team. And these kids actually won the best research project for a project that they designed an app that would determine how a tree would be affected by wind, which we may need that real soon around here. Okay. Um, so this is our bot squad. We'd just like to congratulate them for work that they did outside of school. So congratulations, team. So I will start uh, uh, handing out these uh, recognition. Uh, just I would like to uh, talk a little bit uh, about this thing. I think everybody expects that the robotic competition is about robotics. So when we started this, uh, we realized that uh, robotics, of course, is part of it. But I think the most important thing about the competition was uh, you know, the core values, uh, which FLL actually uh, puts a lot of stress on. And uh, I think the most important thing uh, among the core values is uh, really the teamwork. Like the kids, they basically have different strengths um, and, and they work together and then they collaborate. And then they basically uh, produce their work uh, for the FLL tournament and that's where they get judged. Uh, uh, part of it is uh, uh, the actual robotics. Uh, part of it is also the research project. And uh, our team actually, though we are participating for the first time, uh, we were actually, uh, we won the award in the research category, which was, uh, I think, uh, really an amazing achievement for the entire team.
Arsha and Heidi. take the PSAT. And last year, um, we had nine students who were awarded as commended students. They were recognized by the National Merit Scholarship Program as scoring in the top 5% of everybody who took the PSAT. So here are our nine students. When you see your name, please come on down. And two of our students received scholarship from Johnson & Johnson and from Amerisource Bergen. And those two students are Samantha and Noah. So Samantha and Noah, come on down. <laughs> Neither are here, so we'll congratulate them when we see. Uh, a couple more awards. Uh, we do have a student who is a Siemens Regional Finalist, and would John Gow please come on up? <laughs> John's not here. Can you tell you a little bit, back up a little bit about what? Go backwards. A little bit about what John did. He was a Regional Finalist in the 2013 Siemens Competition in Math, Science, and Technology. This is one of the most prestigious and challenging research-based high school contest in the country. So congratulations to Jack, John. And our final award goes to, we have an Eagle Scout Award that is going to Andrew. Congratulations, Andrew, for working on a project at the Washington Crossing National Cemetery in Pennsylvania, um, where he did a beautification project, and it was a nice article in the paper about that. So, and this is the highest honor that you can receive in the Boy Scouts. So, congratulations, Andrew. Thank you.